Hey kids, can you guess what today's recording is about? Guys, I miss seeing y'all for St. Patrick's Day. So we're gonna have a really fun St. Patrick's Day lesson. Are you ready? You got your good luck, you got your leprechauns, you got your pot of gold and your rainbows. I hope so. Got your dancing shoes. I hope so, it's gonna be a fun one. So hang on tight. All right, so I'm gonna show you where Ireland is in the world on Google Earth. You can totally do this on your own, but it's so cool, I love to do this. So um, I want you, when you're done with this video, um, you should have already seen the one on St. Patrick's Day, it has the information for you. Now there's Ireland. This is um, where they celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And if you saw the video, it has all the different countries where they celebrate Ireland. So those are all the different countries um, right around the same place. There's our Google Earth, okay? So this is where St. Patrick's Day came from, okay? So who believes in leprechauns? Do you think they're real? Mm, I don't know. I've never seen a leprechaun before. What color do you think they wear? Of course they wear green. Look, Ireland is even green. Isn't that crazy? I wonder what Ireland looks like. <gasps> How beautiful. So that's what one of the cliffs looks like. It says the Republic of Ireland occupies most of the island of Ireland. Mm-hmm. It's very cool. Okay. Let's see, here's Northern Ireland. What does that look like? Ooh, it looks very similar. So you think it's surrounded by lots and lots of water? What do you think that's called? If there's something surrounded by water, it's an island. So this is actually the island of Ireland. Island, Ireland. Kind of rhymes, doesn't it? Very cool. And there's this place called Limerick. I wonder if there's castles. There's Dublin. Wow. So is Dublin a city? Looks like it to me. Look how beautiful the buildings are. Is there any place in Odessa that looks like that? No way. That's way too pretty. Belfast. <gasps> is that a castle? That looks like a castle. Now, this says it was the birthplace of the Titanic. Wow, so that's where the Titanic actually started. Very cool. All right, let's look at one more place, Galway. Let's see how pretty, oh, another city. Look how beautiful that is. Don't you wanna just travel to Europe sometimes? Probably not right now because there's lots of sick people over there, but when everybody's well and we have our immunity going, we can go visit all these cool places. Wouldn't that be great? That would be a place for your to-do list, Ireland. It looks like a beautiful place, guys. Okay, kids, so we have learned about St. Patrick's Day. We um, have seen pictures of Ireland. We went to Google Earth. And you should have been able to um, look at some music, some Celtic music from Texas Tech University where I went to school. Um, so they did their Celtic ensemble. And so you got to see all the different instruments that they use, the singing. Um, and that was Dr. Christopher Smith. He was one of my professors over there, professor of history at Texas Tech University in Lubbock. Let's see. And then I put on their um, river dance. So you got to see some dancing from Ireland. I bet Miss Jenkins will appreciate that. And now we're going to color a rainbow. So you should have been able to see um, a video explaining to you all of the different colors of the rainbow. So there were red, where's my finger? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. How many fingers is that? That's seven, that's seven different colors. Okay, so here's red. So do you know who Roy G. Biv is? It's red, orange, yellow, green.
green, blue, indigo, violet. Okay, the, those are the first letter of every color in the rainbow. Okay, so there's my red. And if you want to, I mean, you can make this as pretty as you want to. So you can make a big, wide color red if you want to. You can color it like that if you want to. It's totally up to you. This is your creation. So all you need is a blank sheet of paper, and you need to find those seven colors. And then color with me. Okay, and then you need orange. You can color that in too. And then what's the next color? Yellow. So this has all the different fine arts. The only fine arts we're missing from this video is drama. So you can create your own drama, haha. <laughs> you can pretend, you can watch your river dance and pretend that you are in Ireland and pretend you're a famous dancer. And then green. Oh, you can't see that color green, very dark. I bet you have a prettier green than I do. You're gonna make prettier pictures than me. And then what's next, guys? Blue. Ah, my blue color is broken. I'm sorry, blue color. And then what's next? Indigo. Indigo is a cross between blue and purple. So it's what happens when you mix the colors blue and purple together. And what's at the end of the rainbow? The pot of gold, right? That's what they say. I haven't seen one yet. And the last color is violet. My violet looks like it's kind of pinkish. Pinkish violet. It's very pretty. I love rainbows. You can decorate anything with a rainbow and it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? You like it? Ta-da! Hey guys, so the last thing that you are going to do today is your go noodle. And it's a St. Patrick's Day boom, chicka boom. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, guys. It was super short, and the rest of it is just watch the videos on your own, okay? So um, happy very late St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye, guys.